Hey guys, it's Sanskari here and today we are going to talk about Nikola Tesla's one and only Tesla coal. So before starting about Tesla coal, we should know a gist of Nikola Tesla's life. Nikola Tesla was an American Serbian who was born with a view to create a wireless world and also to have a germ free society. And he was also known by the nickname of mad scientist, evil scientist, quite interesting, right? Because of a certain assumptions that he can talk to aliens and also that he can destroy 10,000 planes that are 250 miles away. OMG, that's like, oh. So, uh, <laughs> he came up with the idea of Tesla coal to build a nice wireless society and therefore he came to be known as electrical genius. So let's see how that actually works. Ta-da! So finally, what we need here to make this kind of setup, you need a 9 volt high watt battery and a switch which can have like a regular two connectors, no problem. Then you should have a transistor of 2N, W2, W2A and then a resistor of resistant like 22 kilo ohms and that would be totally fine for the setup. Then the main part is having a kind of cardboard or PVC pipe of like 4 centimeter in diameters and then you have to finally coil it like I did here. So you have to be really concentrated by doing coils because any coil could make the whole setup be like not working or so. And then you have to make secondary coils with like dumper wires or so. And then you need a tennis ball covered by aluminium and we use aluminium covering for high density of the fluorescent bulb which would be of like 15 volts. So it would be totally a nice setup all in all. What you have to do how we will start the setup. Let's start with the connectors basically switch thing. So you have to take one connector of it and take the dumper wire and connect it to the battery. And once connected to the battery you have to take another wire of the battery and connect it with one of the you can say like one of the extreme points of that transistor. You can be doing soldering or you can attach with tapes or you can else use a breadboard which is like if it is available in your area, it's totally up to you. Then you have to connect the one end of the switch with a neutral wire, basically a dumper wire which was the secondary coil and the other uh, with the same junction. At the same junction you have to connect it with a resistor of 22,000 ohms and that resistor should be connected with one of the legs of the transistor. And one of the legs of the transistor should be connected with the secondary coil directly. So as you can see the whole setup is like this. It's very plain, it's very doable that you can easily do it anywhere and obviously you can use it. Tesla coil is nothing but an induction coil for producing so high frequency alternating currents and as you can see how the fluorescent bulbs lights up. It's working finally. I hope you guys now know how to set up your own mini Tesla coil. So now let's come to the main part of it, the working in the principle of Tesla coil which is really simple. It totally depends on the electromagnetic field and the resonance. So resonance is nothing but the circuit which has tuned capacitance and resistor. That's it. Fine. So let's understand it in a very deep meaning, quite a deep meaning I should say, that whenever you are taking the Tesla coil, the current which passes through the Tesla coil it gets out to the air, the air medium, and then produces sparks. And therefore, it goes to the ground and the spark ends. Whenever you are bringing the fluorescent light bulb near it, the fluorescent light bulb will start lighting up due to the spark which is produced in the spark gap. Well, the Tesla coil which I showed it didn't have capacitance or any capacitor because we didn't need to know like store the charges or like that. But when you are making an actual one for a real Tesla coil, you actually need capacitance to store a large amount of charges, right? So this is a simple explanation of how it is working. And then you have the pretty users that it's a wireless electricity thing. You can use it much, but why it is not used if it can be used? So it's a nice question and a debatable one too but what actually happens that distance between the transmitter uh, and the resistor should be of like supposedly how much we want it should be satiable but we cannot have that because since the distance increases therefore it's kind of like difficult for us to have the connect in between. Moreover, Nikola Tesla created an omnidirectional wireless transmission station in Wadencliffe uh, Tower. Basically, it's a tower in New York. So you can search more about it if you want to know. And I hope you guys got it very well. Thank you so much. And please like, comment and share if you liked it. Thank you.